the Bernoulli equation, derived from the differential form of the equation of conservation of momentum, that is the Navier-Stokes equations. When the high pressure is hydrostatic in an open channel, the integration of the Bernoulli equation across the water level can be expressed as the total head H being constant and equal to d cos theta plus z naught plus v square over 2g, where d is the water depth, z naught is the bed elevation, v is the velocity, and theta is the bed slope. In open channels, the Bernoulli principle states that the total height is a constant along the flow direction for a frictionless, incompressible, steady flow. And if we looked at the application of the Bernoulli equation across two sections, one and two, we obtain h1 equal h2. The Bernoulli equation may be applied to smooth and short transitions, such as gates, wheel crest, transitions on three applications are listed below. At a broad crested wheel, operating without downstream control, the upstream flow is subcritical and the downstream flow is supercritical, and the flow is critical at the wheel crest. On the application of the Bernoulli principle give h1 equal h2 equal h3. At the crest where the flow is critical, the Bernoulli principle on the critical flow condition can give the water depth at the crest for rectangular channel. The combination of the Bernoulli and continuity equations can be resolved graphically using the specific energy versus flow depth graph as shown here. Another application of the Bernoulli principle is the sluice gate. The combination of the Bernoulli continuity principle states that the total height is the same upstream and downstream of the gate and the Bernoulli equation may be solved graphically. A third application is the Bernoulli principle applied to a channel transition with a smooth change in channel width on bed elevation. The Bernoulli equation will instate that h1 equal h2 and can be combined with the continuity equation. The resolution of this equation is not trivial because there are several different possible outcomes depending upon the geometry, discharge and inflow condition. This may range from no physically meaningful solution to one physically correct solution out of two possible solutions. A simple approach is based upon the graphical solution of the relationship between specific energy and water depth. In this dimensionless relationship, let us remember that the critical depth differs between section 1 and section 2 because the channel width is different. And for the above problem, the solution starts by estimating the upstream specific energy, E1, divided by dc1. Then we apply the Bernoulli principle between section 1 and section 2, and we derive the specific energy at section 2. When the ratio E2 over dc2 is less than 1.5, there is no physically meaningful solution. When it is equal to 1.5, there is only one solution. The so flow conditions are critical at section 2. When it's greater than 1.5, there are two possible solutions, one supercritical, one subcritical, on the physically correct solution depend upon the inflow condition. For example, if the inflow is subcritical, the downstream flow will be subcritical to fulfill the Bernoulli principle. On the following sketch, illustrate one possible solution. 